It's time to fasten our seat belts. I'm totally excited about this travel. Fantasy, myth, legend, truth, all are entwined in this journey. So do join us to unveil the mystery of the most beautiful country. Edinburgh is a city with a breathtaking natural setting of old and new town. It's time to explore the city with a cup of coffee. We are heading to Carlton Hill. I first spot Carlton Hill. Climb few steps to reach the extinct volcanic hill. This hill is the home to the collection of grandiose buildings and monuments. Once you reach up the hill, you would find Dugald Stewart Monument. He was a Scottish philosopher, lived between the year 1753 to 1828. On the other side, you would see the beautiful unfinished Acropolis structured monument that dominates the top of the hill. This was initiated in 1816, a year after Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo. It is meant to be a replica of the Parthenon in Athens. Next comes the Nelson Monument. This was built to commemorate Admiral Lord Nelson who died at the Battle of Trafalgar during the Napoleonic Wars in 1805. It's that just to know the history you climb up the hill? Absolutely not. Besides these structures and monuments, it's also one of the best viewpoints in Edinburgh. From here, you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city spread beneath it. Once you are done with admiring the beauty of the city from the hilltop, walk down through the beautiful Princess Street and reach Scott Monument. The Scott Monument is a Victorian Gothic monument to a Scottish author, Sir Walter Scott. It is the largest monument to a writer in the world. If you wish to explore the monument, you will have to climb up to 87 steps which are divided into 4 levels comes with an entry ticket. Ticket details in description below. Such a beauty holds the Edinburgh. It is a city filled with an ancient history, authentic eateries and all the culture you could ever wish for from a British city. I'm totally awestruck walking through the elegant streets, cobbled alleys, lovely squares and narrow closes. These narrow closes leads us to the Royal Mile.
the cobbled street running up to the hill where the royal castle of Edinburgh is situated. Edinburgh Castle. Let's explore what does this 12th century royal castle holds inside. With a long rich history as a royal residence, military garrison, prison and fortress, it is alive with many exciting tales. Once you enter, you come across the Lang Stairs. Climb on the stairs where you find the footprints of kings, queens and soldiers. Next you discover Mons Meg, the world's most dangerous medieval gun which could fire as far as 3.2 kilometers, that is 2 miles. Explore the prisons of war, national war museum and regimental museums around. Here comes the important feature of Edinburgh Castle, the one o'clock gun. The firing of the gun dates back to 1861 when the businessman John Hewitt brought the idea to Edinburgh from Paris. The gun is still fired every day at 1 pm except on Sundays, Good Friday and Christmas Day. Ships in the 5th or 4th once set their maritime clocks by the 1 o'clock gun. Don't miss this 1 o'clock gun if you are in Edinburgh Castle or in Edinburgh. Check out the carvings at the medieval Great Hall on Crown Square. Visit Royal Palace where Mary Queen of Scots gave birth to James VI in 1566. See the Stone of Destiny which Scottish students saved from Westminster Abbey. Marvel at the oldest crown jewels in Britain, the Honours of Scotland. Meet the Seven Sisters at Half Moon Battery. After hours of exploring Great Edinburgh Castle, we are heading to some special place. It's one such place why people come to Scotland. Scotland is famous for Scotch whiskies and breweries. We are heading to the Scotch whisky experience.
Book your tour and tickets online according to your preference. They do have silver, gold, platinum tickets. And Tasting Tales and the Taste of Scotland are the special ones. This is the perfect place and journey to the world of Scotch whiskey. After tasting the Scotch whiskey, you can buy your favorite ones from the shop. After our wonderful experience at Scotch Whiskey, we are heading to Buddy's Fish and Chips for our lunch. After lunch, we just walked around the Victoria Street, which was the inspiration of Diagon Alley in Harry Potter series. And this is how we spent 24 hours and the first day of our trip in Edinburgh city. We are heading to our hotel, Point A, where we stayed for the night, which is in Morrison Street and nearest to all the attractions. After a wonderful Irish breakfast, we are vacating the hotel and heading to a beautiful, magical wonderland. We are heading to the bus terminal and we are traveling with Rabi Stews for next 4 days in a complete tourist remote. So why did we opt to Drabi Stoos? We just want to travel and explore easy. So found this Drabi Stoos traveling with a small crowd in a 16-seater Mercedes mini coach. This is not a sponsored video. Would I recommend this Stoos? We'll let you know at the end of the tour. So stay tuned to see the exclusive beauty of Scotland in upcoming videos. Until then, it's bye from Kitchen Clicks by Manu with love.